Hey guys, I'm back. Well, today is something I'm gonna start new.、Um, I've never done this before, but many people suggested me that I should try it. So, what I'm gonna start today is a general English that most of the nat-、uh, non native speakers make. Because, you know, in this world there are like British accent and American accent. So, it's like people use s different. I, I, I know that people use s different accents, but most of them love, you know, selecting from these two s and they. Tend to mix up the words. So, today I'm gonna show you a few words that most of the people make while they're making that accent. And I do that a lot. I mean, I try to speak British accent and I use American words. It's like, <laughs> hello. So, okay.、Um, let's start with a few words that daily people might use it. For example, A biscuit. British say a biscuit, and Americans say cookie. And you know, fries, right? The fish and or whatever it's called, c r i p s or chips. Yeah. So in British, it's called、um, c r i p s and in American, it's called chips. And for the building apartment, Apartment, or you use flat. Flat it for British, apartment it for American. And most of the guys like this, guys, sorry, guys like this. Football for British,、uh, soccer for American. And in every building, you need that. A lift. Or elevator. A lift is for British, an d elevator is t for American. And、uh, for the living room, you need a couch or a sofa. Sofa is for British, and a couch is for American.、Um, when you go out, you, if you don't have a car, you need to grab a Cab or taxi? Well, I use taxi. Taxi is for British and cab is for American. And、um, in your closet or wardrobe? Wardrobe is for British and closet is for American. And What else should I tell? Okay.、Um, public transports. In public transports,、uh, you have, how do I call it? Trains, underground trains, or subways. Underground, it's for British, and subway, it's for America. Right? I mean, yeah, I, it. I tend to make lots of mistakes using these words. I mean, like, I, I try to perfect the accent in a way, but I still have the Asian ish accent since I'm like speaking three languages and my, my accents are like all mixed up and all. So, yeah. And I hope these words might help you. A lot better in speaking the language because you know, you know, when you're speaking with a British guy and you try you you try their accent, but you use the word wrongly, like you 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 mixed up with American words and British accent, and they're like, Are you trying to speak British or are you actually speaking American? I'm like, Oops, sorry, because I I'm like, okay, fine, I should know these words. Well, the words that I've described are normally used, so I hope it helps. And yeah, hope you enjoy. See you next video. Bye. Guys, you can also follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. So thank you. Bye.